Hello everyone, Luke Paul Smith here. It is Thursday and we're going to do another review. So you got a bonus review for this week. Um, so I just finished watching Squid Game on Netflix last night and I want to talk about it. Um, so this will be me um, talking about the series, uh, what I liked about it and basically talking about a um, reviewing it so it's, it's essentially it is a Korean series on Netflix it is a lot a lot, a lot popular um, I think at the minute uh, last time I checked it's earned like 900 million dollars um, in internationally which is pretty popular I think it's like in the number two slot on, on Netflix at the minute and it is one of those um, death game uh, well not really death game like a survival um, game series uh, I know there's a load of um, th them about like a load of um, f foreign survival series and death game sort of series and films out there at the minute this is the first one of that genre I've ever seen as I, I haven't seen anything else li like this one so now I'm tempted to go on Netflix and see similar uh, films and series in that theming that that sort of thing so yeah it's actually quite interesting but this basically follows now I'm not gonna say any names because I I can't remember Korean and I can't remember the names of them and I can't even pronounce them properly so I'm not even gonna bother but there's this there's this guy who's a bit down in his luck in, in Korea and he's basically owing these loan sharks money and obviously can't can't keep up so he's rather down down on his luck and he has like fa family problems he has to help his his um his um mum I, th I think it is or nan or something and as well as um, help out his ex-wife with a, um, I think it's like a divorce set settlement, and he's got to hire a lawyer. So it's pretty down down on his luck, and he, he's like gambling all the time, trying trying to get get money. Yeah, so it's a bit of a mess in his life. But anyway, he um, he um, get gets contacted by this one one guy. And has to play play a game game with him, and he loses until he wins. And he gets gets a card with PlayStation symbols on it. I'm I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure they got the idea for the PS symbols for for that sort of thing. Calls a number on it, and he get basically goes down um, to join to join this group. Get gets knocked knocked out and wakes up in this facility among with these like 400 plus people and every day they have to play like a different game and there's like six games and it does get violent it, it does it does get graphic um the first game to me looked look the funnest um I, I, to be fair i really hope someone makes a tier list of, of the games on that tier list maker because i'll be pretty interested to to um rank the um, games of, of the series um, the games were really unique it's basically like um, Korean and normal uh, children's games like red light green light marbles um, and there was that one day they they, they they that they had to um like jump on glass panels like a glass pa panel bridge the only thing is like some is tempered glass and some's normal glass so like stronger than the other and if they cho choose not normal glass then just go straight down um and the more people fail the more they get eliminated which every time someone gets eliminated it adds money to the pot um and it's a giant piggy bank which every time so someone dies and gets eliminated it adds a, a hundred million one to it i think it's a hundred million yeah oh yeah that that's something that i didn't know um one is currency of korea so yeah it's new, new to me and 
as the thing is like the, the more the more people gets eliminated the pr prize fund gets higher and higher till it goes up to billions so it is suspenseful and it is entertaining it's like it's really good there's nine episodes in it and i'm pretty sure there's going to be a sequel to because rarely um rarely rarely the series the last episode left off so they're pretty sure there'll be a, a sequel the characters to be fair in my opinion all the characters are likable including the annoying ones i, st I still liked them because i each character was was unique in in this it was, like, re really good um it, it is it is in english it is english dubbed if you go onto netflix now it'll be like autumn it when, when i watched it it was like i played it and it was automatically dubbed in english so you don't have to worry about changing the settings or anything uh, you can change you can you can change the language back to Korean and turn the English subtitles on if you want, um, but some for some people it just feels a bit weird um, seeing English dubs of things and they'd rather just watch it in the normal language and turn subtitles on. Um, but I watched it in English dub because I did not mind it at all like that. I I, I didn't mind it. But yeah, the characters were likable. It's got a really nice soundtrack, really interesting games. Um, yeah, it is pretty good. Suspenseful, yeah. And I think in episode six or seven, the marbles one, that is what got me. It's like that, that. Oof. I was not expecting that that sort of thing to happen. Um, but if you ain't seen it go and see it in the title i'm going to be putting a spoiler warning um in the title so you know that it contains spoilers um but yeah really good series and i cannot wait for the next one hopefully when they do it um i yeah like i said i do plan on watching more um netflix series including like death game survival sort of games that sort of thing because this actually got me interested in in the whole genre of that sort of things so it's like really good um i think i am going to leave it here uh, i think i've talked about everything um no video tomorrow because it is uh, friday uh, you'll get a um, quickie reading on saturday and um um uh, weekly recap on Sunday so stay tuned for that and I'll see you then